Hello, my name is Tim Whitaker. I'm a researcher at the University of Texas, and I'd like to show you how you can find water data with QuasiHIS. The QuasiHIS is designed to improve access to water data. It consists of standards such as the observations data model for storing water data, and the WaterMill language, which establishes a common framework for sharing water data. QuasiHIS also provides services, such as a national catalog of water data indexing more than 5 billion data values from over 50 data sources. The hydrologic ontology is a hierarchical set of keywords that we use to establish a common terminology when describing hydrologic variables from a given data source. These two services work together to enable a search engine for water data. QuasiHIS also develops software that you can use to help with data loading, publication analysis, discovery, and access. And all the software that QuasiHIS develops is free and open source. In this demo, I'll use the Hydro Desktop software to show you how to access water data. This is a GIS for HIS data access that's free, it's open source, and you can download it and all other HIS software from our website at his.quasi.org. You're now looking at Hydro Desktop, and as you can see, it's a GIS integrated with HIS. You answer who, what, when, where questions when you want to search for time series data, so let's start with the where. Hydro Desktop includes some useful data layers such as U.S. hooks or watersheds and political boundaries like counties. You can also add your own study area to the map. I'm zooming into the Austin and San Antonio areas here, and to add some context, I'll enable an online base map such as those published through OpenStreetMap or Bing. In this case, I'll use the Esri Hydro base map, which is geared towards hydrologic applications and includes hydrographic features. Another way to choose an area of interest is to delineate a watershed, which I can do just by clicking a point in the map. This watershed is returned from an EPA spatial data service, so I don't need any local elevation data to create it. I'll use this watershed as the area of interest in my search for time series data. Once I've got it selected, I next tell Hydro Desktop the time period that I want to search, and I'll use the 2009 water year that's already chosen here. I can also tell Hydro Desktop from whom I like to retrieve data, and here's that list of more than 50 data sources from national agencies, universities, and other organizations. For this demo, I'll use the default of everyone. Next, I tell Hydro Desktop what I want to search for. Once I start typing a variable name, I can choose the matching keyword from the hydrologic ontology I mentioned earlier. In this demo, I'll search for stream flow and precipitation. With who, what, when, where set, I'll run my search. These search results are returned from that national metadata catalog, and it looks like five data sources have time series that match my search. I can now use spatial and attribute selections to choose which time series I actually want to download. In this case, I'll just choose one of those stream flow time series and a precipitation time series. There are a lot of descriptive attributes I could use to further filter these results, but my quick selections should work for this demo. Hydro Desktop organizes data into themes, so I'll create one called Central Texas Hydrology and then download the data into that theme. I've connected to those two data sources and retrieved the data, and now I'll plot graphs of precipitation and stream flow. I'll start by selecting that precipitation time series. Now, notice how I can add the stream flow time series to the same graph. This overlay could be used to help me spot trends or relationships in the data. I could also use other analysis capabilities within Hydro Desktop, such as the R statistical environment or an open to my model, or I can export the data to a text file for use in other programs. This concludes the demo where I've shown how to discover and access water data using QuasiHIS. For more information and free downloads, please visit his.quasi.org. You can also get free help from our user support specialist, Yuri Choi. Her email is ychoi at quasi.org. Thanks for watching.